All right. Hey guys, it's Mr. Sheridan. We're going to go over some basketball drills here. All right. These first couple of drills, you're going to, uh, you will need a hoop to shoot at. So if you have a hoop at your house or at a friend's house or a neighbor's house, you can get out and shoot at on the nice days when, uh, you know, it's not too cold. Okay. Or if you have access, you know, to a hoop at a, at a health club, uh, or anything like that. All right. So this first drill we're going to talk about is, uh, called a Mike and drill, all right. Named after, an old basketball player in the fifties, uh, George Mikan, who was a center uh, and was, you know, one of the one of the best players ever, regardless of the era. All right, he was a tall center. Okay, but with this drill, it's important for any position. So whether you you play a guard, forward, center, doesn't matter. You know, every position, every player needs to be able to do this drill. All right, you're going to be shooting layups on both sides of the rim, alternating sides. All right, from the right side to the left, right to left. You're going to have 30 seconds to try and make as many layups as you can. You'll see in this drill when I do it, there's no dribbling. All right. Now, in this drill, I only went for about 10 seconds. You can go for however long you want, but 30 seconds is usually a good indicator. Okay. You're going to try and get as many as you can. All right. Without a dribble. When you're on the right side of the rim, all right, you're going to jump off your left foot, shoot it with your right hand. Then when you switch to the left side without the dribble, you're going to jump off your right foot and shoot it with the left hand. All right. You want to aim for that. You can see here on the video that smaller backboard. Uh, smaller square, I should say, inside the backboard, okay? That kind of gray or white, uh, gray square there inside the backboard, all right, is where you want to aim for. Every shot should be off the backboard. Main thing is get a good angle. Don't rush. Even though you're going for time, take your time. Get a good angle. Don't get too far under the rim, all right? So when I start, I shoot it with the right. I'm jumping off the left, or I'm sorry, jumping off my right foot now, shooting it with the left hand, all right? Then I switch, no dribble, jump off the left, shoot right. Okay, again, get a good angle. You see how I'm not taking any dribble. Take a big step, turn your hips, turn your body, all right? So you're almost facing the basket, all right? Uh, now, again, that was just, I just went for about 10 seconds there, all right? So try it for about 30 seconds. See how many you can do, all right? Again, this is a great drill uh, for so many reasons, you know, for basketball, for timing, for practicing layups, for not rushing, for using good touch, getting a good angle, uh, try it for 30 seconds. Try it again a couple more times. See if you can better your score. That's the nice thing about these drills is you try it a couple times and try and improve your score. All right. Another one I'm gonna, we're going to show you guys here real quick. Okay. Is there it is. All right. Uh, this is called the hot shot game. All right. Some of you maybe have done this before. All right. This game, it's a, you can go for 30 seconds. You can go for a minute. I go for a minute here. Okay. So a minute, maybe a little better, get a few more shots up. You're going to shoot a free throw. All right, from the free throw line, which is about 15, which is not about, is 15 feet from the basket. And then after every free throw, make or miss, you're going to shoot a layup. If you make the free throw, that's worth two points. Make the layup, that's worth one point. Only one shot free. So if you miss it, you got to go chase your ball down and then shoot the next shot, either the free throw or the layup. And you're going to keep track of your points. If you have a friend with you doing it, uh, they can keep track of your points and you guys can alternate. All right. So again, you're going to shoot the free throws worth two, make or miss, shoot the layup. You can do the layup from either side of the rim. All right, from either side of the room. Probably ideally it should do it from which side, you know, the ball comes to, okay, to save time. All right, so I'm going to take the free throws. I made it. That would be two. I made the layup. That's three. Now I take a free throw again, take my time without rushing. All right, now I got to do the layup. So that's four. Now I'm going to do the free throw again. Free throws are worth two. All right, I made it. So that's six. Now I'm at seven. Take the free throw. Miss that one. Chase it down. Shoot the layup. Not sure why I shot it with my left hand on the right side, but oh well. It's eight. Free throw. All right. It's 10. Shoot the layup. 11. Again, take your time on the free throw. Don't rush, even though you're going for speed. Now, that layup, I kind of rushed. Didn't get a good angle. That's why I missed it. All right. Missed that one. Chase it down. I'm running out of time here. I got about 10 seconds. All right. Make the layup. It's 12. So my last free throw, all right, made that, 14, and then the layup, 15, all right, and that was it, all right, so my score would have been 15 in a minute, all right, so again, uh, and you can do all sorts of, you know, if you want to shoot from different spots, not just a free throw, you want to shoot from, you know, the wing or the block, there's, you know, a lot of different ways you can do this, but this is a fun drill, again, you can do this a couple times, uh, keep track of your score the first time, try and better it the second time, the third time, all right, uh, and like I said, the free throw, you know, you really want to make sure you take your time, maybe not as much time as you you know, you know would in a, in a normal game. Uh, but for me, I like the free throw. I always say the free throw, just shoot it like a normal a normal shot. I think in, a lot of times in games, people take too much time and think about it too much. You know, when you have the, 
the 10 seconds to shoot it. Just shoot it like you would a normal jump shot. And uh, that's kind of how I teach it too. So have fun with these two, two drills and uh, thanks guys.